Good morning, everyone. With the vast amount of scammers and hackers on the internet today, it is important to be cautious. When it comes to real estate, you should be aware of possible threats during your transaction. Amber Carlton, realtor and forever agent with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Premier Properties, along with Patrick Buell, vice president of the title company, are here with us to tell you what you should keep in mind when it comes to real estate transactions. Welcome to you both. Thank you Thank for you. having us. Of course. Thank you for being here. This is such a pertinent issue. Yes. So Amber, what are different types of fraud that you are seeing in real estate transactions today? Yeah, so the most common that we're seeing in our market are people attempting wire fraud and people attempting vacant land fraud. Mm -hmm. The vacant land fraud's kind of new and Patrick's gonna deep dive into that. Um, but wire fraud, they're basically trying to get any sensitive information they can, social security number, um, checking account number, just anything they can to try and weasel in and steal your money. Very interesting. I haven't heard of what vacant land fraud is. Patrick, can you really explain what that would be? Yeah, so vacant land fraud is a little bit more complex uh, and it you know, is very much a, a seller impersonation fraud. It starts with a, uh, the fraudster going out and uh, doing a quick property record search, finding a vacant property, vacant land, non-owner occupied, doesn't have any debts, liens, or mortgage on the property. Uh, and then they contact a realtor, usually via email, because they don't like to call or they certainly don't show up in person. Mm -hmm. And they say, we need to get rid of this property, uh, usually listed for less than market value, because they want to be quick, you know, closing, quick sale on it. Mm -hmm. uh, from there, they get a, a deal going, usually cash, quick close, and, and that's kind of when the title company comes in and we start looking for these flags. And, uh, you know, really, we always kind of expect them to say that they aren't able to attend closing, they just want us to email them the docs and they'll get them notarized and mm -hmm. sent right back. Uh, that's a huge red flag for us. Uh, and uh, you know, usually at that point, the, the seller, we ask for that kind of remote online notary or, or we set up the notary on it and, mm -hmm. and they kind of go quietly away and kind of ghost us a little bit. But um, you know, it's, it's a huge thing that could really you know, harm rightful homeowners or property owners, I should say, uh, mm -hmm. in our community. Yeah, so you're both definitely really looking out for the people who are involved in this transaction. Yes, yeah. Definitely. So from both of your professional perspectives, what are some tips that people should take away to avoid fraud? Yeah, so kind of twofold on um, things I want to touch on here. We have the title company, which is so huge to be researching in the background and to educate us as to what they're seeing, the industry professionals. Mm -hmm. And then also for wire fraud, um, if you're in a real estate transaction, your realtor should be saying like, contact me. If you get mm -hmm. any of this, just call me. I will validate that, yes, it's the title company. Yes, they need that information. Mm -hmm. Or yes, it is your lender. Yes, they need that information because they've gotten very, very good at making it look real. Yes. On the vacant land side of things, you know, as a, as a landover, there's not a whole lot you can do. Uh, if you're a realtor, look for these signs if they're reaching out to you via email or digital communication. You know, maybe ask a question and see if you can video chat or if there's, you know, any other way we can verify identity. Um, and if you are a rightful owner of, of property and you're, you're doing a sale, if, you know, we just kind of say be patient with us because we are kind of, you know, upping our game when it comes to identity uh, verification for mm -hmm. sellers on it, particularly when people aren't uh, able to attend closing. Definitely. And I imagine that that is the advantage of working with both of you two is you are constantly looking out for those red flags. Yeah, absolutely. Anything we can to try yeah. and educate fellow industry leaders and then the consumer as to what to be aware of for sure. Definitely. So if someone is interested in getting in contact with you, how would they do that? Yes, you can call myself 701-640-8326 or find me online at amber.realtor. And at the title company, check us out uh, online, www.thetitlecompany.com, or give us a call if you have questions, 701-241-9282. Wonderful. Thank you both for that information. Thank, Thank you. you. Coming up on today's show, we have your daily dose of motivation.